Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here to talk about holiday season consumerism and this kind of idea that, you know, Christmas is right around the corner and what are you going to do if you don't buy da 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 and look at all these amazing things and the conversation of influencer culture. Now, if you've been around my channel for a few years around the holidays, I typically get up on my soapbox around this time of year and talk about all of this non- sensical BS that influencers are constantly linking, sharing, posting, putting all over every photo, every story has a link and it's just nonsense. So we're going to talk about a few things and yeah. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, and for full transparency, I will let you know that Brianna Kay is the one who gave me the idea for this video. I was uh, checking in, just being a normal commentary channel, seeing what she has been up to, and her business that she launched selling overpriced candles, surface cleaners, room sprays, and hand soap is currently just kind of out there floating in the water. I mean, honestly, like who'd care? Who would want to pay her for an expensive candle when they can pay Anthropology for an expensive candle or uh, buy one from Sephora? Like, let's be honest, there are actual like knowledgeable candle makers. And if I'm going to spend 32 or $48 on a freaking candle, I'm going to go with a brand that actually knows what they're doing. But even then I'm not paying over $30 for a candle. In the past, I have been guilty of spending more than I should have on candles and I will own that all day. But uh, in this economy, it's just not uh, something that I want to spend money on. I would rather put that money towards other things that are, nece you know, actual necessities. But nevertheless, so her brand is just kind of over there doing whatever, and she's really pushing her own products, but she's also obviously doing what most influencers do and pushing products that she is working with the brands. She worked with a, co a company called Typology, and she showed her skincare routine, and it was link this and link that, and this is the greatest product that I've ever used. And... It's the typical influencer thing, but the other content that Brianna and a lot of other influencers are fo focusing very heavily on right now is Christmas. Holiday season is approaching and you've got to have the gift guide, the new wardrobe, the toys, the tech, the home decor, two Christmas trees in your freaking living room as if that is feasible for anybody. Um, and so I want to talk about this and I am a little bit, um, I get a little snarky when it comes to influencers showing this just absolutely ridiculous image of what the holidays are all about. And I'm not going to sit on my channel and be like, you know, it's only about Jesus and it has to be religious because that is not my thing at all. But I will say that it is absolutely not about $500 TJ Maxx hauls or $350 home goods hauls because you bought new throw pillows, new throw blankets, a bunch of new candles, new um, uh, stuff for the dining room table, a new table runner, new dishes, new like miss me with it. I don't need the quirky Mrs. Gingerbread and Mr. Gingerbread signs in the bathroom and a, you know, freaking Santa Claus soap dispenser. It is ridiculous. Am I here for, you know, maybe having a holiday candle and using the decorations that you have probably had for the last five years? Absolutely. I love Christmas. I love the holiday season. And I love all of the really cute decor that comes out. Over the last eight to 10 years, I have made it a habit to buy one or two really small decor items. I never allow myself to go over that. And I will give you guys the example for this year. That little gingerbread pillow back there that's sitting on Axel's bed, that was one of my holiday purchases this year. So I have 
literally one other item that I can buy for the holiday season because it's only going to be used for about two months out of the year and that's it because I am not going to literally sit here and rant about stuff and then be doing it and not even sticking by my own rules. I think that the over consumerism when it comes to Christmas on social media is sickening. It is sickening. I've talked about people like Alicia Dougherty, who literally, she is like the queen of the landfill. Single use plastics, a bunch of junk, cheap stuff that, you know, her kids are going to throw in the garbage or break within five minutes. She has been the queen of that. I've talked about that in, um, you know, prior videos. Aside from it being obnoxious and distasteful, I want to use this video as an opportunity to say something that I've said in prior years around this time of year. I understand that there are a lot of people out there that are living paycheck to paycheck or less. You have kids or you have a child or maybe you don't have any children at all. You're figuring out how you're going to pay all of your bills on time so that your utilities don't get cut off and you're trying to figure out how you will have dinner on the table every single night until your next paycheck hits. And then you have all of this holiday junk that is piled on top of it. I sympathize with those people who are experiencing those emotions around this time of year. Now, if you are someone who just has money to literally throw at the wall and see what sticks, I don't maybe I shouldn't say this, maybe it's stepping the line, but at this point, I really don't care. Um, if you have money to literally dump down the, you know, trash bin at home goods, I would encourage you to maybe take some of that money and buy things that your local homeless shelter or animal shelter needs. Animal shelters and homeless shelters are overcrowded, they don't have enough resources, and they are always in need of food, blankets, socks, um, shampoos, body soaps, canned food. And canned food goes for both human homeless shelters and uh, animal homeless shelters as well. And typically what I do is I make a quick phone call to our local shelter and I ask them, what do you guys really need right now? Because I don't want to bring you, you know, 10 blankets and five bags of food. If you actually need 12 bags of food and one blanket. So there's, there's just a lot of ways that you can give back. Um, and you can allow it to impact your direct community. You don't have to go through, you know, some website where you don't know the organization and you don't really know where the funds are going literally like make it, you know, spend 20 minutes when you're running your errands on any other weekend in between now and the end of the year and spend a few minutes and pick up the items that your local shelter needs. What I will also say is if you are not on that side of things where, you know, you really don't have the money to throw at the wall and see what sticks, I understand that. And I understand you know, probably receiving a list from your children of a bunch of toys that probably cost way more than you're able to spend. I understand that side of it. And if you don't have kids and you're just simply trying to stay above water, I understand that as well. Um, so obviously on my channel, for anyone who is new over the last, you know, call it 10 months, I will let you guys know that you should not be expecting me to sit here and tell you guys what you have to buy for Christmas and link this and link that and all the Christmas decorations and buying brand new decorations, even though you have stuff in the attic. I remember growing up, you know, in, in my uh, dad's home as well as in my grandmother's home. And you guys tell me if it was like this for you too, because I'm always curious. We used the same decorations my entire childhood. Literally my entire childhood, we used, you know, of course, like we would go out every year and get a fresh tree because 
we would always buy a fresh tree and you obviously can't keep that all year. And that was like our one purchase every Christmas. So I remember always seeing the same exact decorations, the same ornaments, the same um, stockings, the same little, um, you know, snow globe. And like over at my grandma's house, she had a, a fireplace and it had a mantle and she had this little, I'll try to find a photo just for reference for anyone else who knows what I'm talking about. But they were these little light up houses. I think she would buy them at like Hallmark or something like that, probably Hallmark. And they were beautiful and they sat on her mantle every single year. She didn't, you know, go out and spend $200 on a bunch of new Christmas decorations. And I feel like my holiday seasons were absolutely magical growing up. So buying a bunch of new stuff is not going to guarantee that like your kids are going to have a better holiday season or you're going to have a better holiday season if you have all of this new stuff. I don't know. I, I tie memories to things that have been around for a long time and tell me if I'm totally crazy down below. But you know, I saw Brianna Kay running around doing all of this holiday stuff and I was like, well, is she starting it? I know other influencers are starting it and we are just in the season of link this, link that. I have found the best product that you guys just have to buy. There's nothing else like it, even though I said that last month in the other, you know, product that I was trying to shove down your throat. It can be a little frustrating because you want to support these creators because you watch them all year and you really like them. And then it comes to this time of the year and it's just, it can become very overwhelming. So on top of, you know, making sure that you're watching people that you like how you feel when you spend time watching their content and supporting them. Um, I also always encourage people to take social media breaks, especially this time of year. Take a day off your phone. Take a night off your phone and just like watch movies and unplug. I always think that that's really good. I do it often myself and um, I think it's just really important to be self-aware and realize that um, we can enjoy spending time on social media but not like everything that comes along with it. And that's just simply having self-awareness. It's not anything special or unique. But I guarantee that your kids will be just fine if you don't have, you know, $1,300 to go spend on the new toys at Target. I guarantee everything will be perfectly fine. Don't allow these influencers to make you feel like you're not doing good enough or you're not giving your kids a fulfilled childhood or they're not going to have a good Christmas if you're not doing this or making your home look this way or you don't have these decorations. It's just all a merry-go-round of who can buy the most stuff? Who can buy the most stuff? Who can link the most stuff? Who can make so many holiday-themed videos in between November 1st and the end of the year? It's all just a competition and it's also fake and phony. And um, I, I felt like ranting about the holiday season crap show that is social media with some of these influencers. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But we will get through the holiday season together. I will obviously be here to stay consistent and continue uploading for you guys. And it will not be a bunch of, you know, capitalistic, heavy consumerism type of stuff. I will do what I do most of the year. And, um, you know, if and when I do talk about a product, please know that it is actually something I feel very strongly about. And that's why it's very rare when I talk about products that I like, because I like to reserve those videos for when I really feel strongly about something. But I think that's enough ranting for today. There might be a part two to this. We'll see. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.